My name is Lauren Wendell and this is the Good Pod Guide, the podcast that points you in the direction of other podcasts you might enjoy, thus saving you time, research and brain power. A confession that will probably surprise no one is that I'm not massive into sports. I do really want to go and see the darts at Ali Pali one day, but that's more about the lifestyle, you know? Fine, I don't drink, but I think I could get involved in the party. I want to take a sign with me. I want to dress up. I want to get raucous. I want to kind of watch the darts, but not really watch the darts, you know? And that's really where my passion for sport begins and ends. But from one sport that's not really a sport to another, this This podcast is 83 weeks and it was recommended to me with a note that said it's good if you like wrestling. Well, I don't, but this isn't really about me. You know, maybe you guys like wrestling and I don't want to hog all of the podcast choices. So I decided to give it a try. But my disclaimer early doors is that this is not my genre or area of expertise. This is a podcast by Eric Bischoff, who used to run World Championship Wrestling, and he's interviewed by his co-host, Comrade Thompson, who apparently also hosts a lot of wrestling podcasts, so you may have come across him if this is your thing. They basically discuss all the insider info about what went down in wrestling in the 90s. And for the non-wrestling folks out there, here's some context. So this Eric was the guy who signed Hulk Hogan, and that's got to be a pretty big deal, right? I'm pretty sure there was a Hulk Hogan cartoon when I was younger. And I also think my mate Chad had a Hulk Hogan doll. It might have been Stretch Armstrong, but it also could have easily been both. Anyway, so Eric and Conrad in each episode discuss a different topic, which is put forward by fans of the show on social media. This is different to all other wrestling podcasts, of which I'm assured there are a lot, because it looks at the business side of the sport. And I've written sport there, but I'm also not really sure if this is a sport, because wrestling is choreographed, isn't it? Isn't it? It is, isn't it? That, I think that's something that everyone is well aware of. Um, I hope it is because I wouldn't want to have like outed Santa or anything. But I'm working on the assumption that wrestling is choreographed and everyone knows it. And if I'm wrong, you can hurl abuse at me on Twitter. I'm ready for you. Okay, so Eric does throw some shade at some of the biggest names in wrestling of the time. He says that Hulk Hogan only wanted to work with wrestlers who hid his weaknesses. And he said that if Bret Hart didn't have somebody to bury, criticize, or blame, he couldn't really have much of a conversation. And then he goes on to say, I don't mean to say anything bad about anybody, but Bret tends to be a whiny bitch. It is what it is. And I just love it when people preface a sentence with, I don't want to say anything rude about anybody, because that's when you know they're going to say something well rude. And he did not disappoint. This isn't a podcast I'm going to go back to. And that won't surprise you, given that I've been pretty straight about the fact that the subject matter isn't really for me. But something I found even more off-putting than that was the fact that each episode is two and a half hours long. That is crazy long. Like when I saw that, all I could play in my head on repeat was that meme of that woman saying, ain't nobody got time for that. Because quite frankly, ain't nobody got time for that. That is so long. But obviously, if it's your thing, maybe you want to spend two and a half hours delving into it. From what I understand, this is discussing a golden era of wrestling. So if you were interested in WCW at that time, I imagine it's like incredibly nostalgic and interesting to hear all the behind the scenes gossip. I reckon it's probably like if the director of Friends decided to answer every question viewers ever had in a podcast, except it's like the wrestling version. Eric goes into a lot of detail and doesn't pull any punches. And our good pod guide team thought that it did really bring added value to wrestling fans but look why don't you go and check it out and let me know In the next episode, I put forward my case for Nando's being an unbeatable first date location. Oh, and I also talk about fast food reviewing podcast Doughboys. You can get more info on the show online 
at www.goodpodguide.com. You can also follow us at Good Pod Guide on Instagram and Twitter.